Hey everybody, we are here today with a box of goodies, I assume. <laughs> I got a little text message the other day from my friend Mary Ellen at Red Parrot, and she said, keep an eye on your mailbox. So I assume that these are goodies from her. Um, so I, this was a total surprise to me. We weren't planning to do a, a swap or anything like that. I will say this, like two days before she messaged me, I was thinking, you know, I came across a couple of things and I thought I should start a little goodie box for Mary Ellen again. We did a swap a couple of months ago and just, it was so much fun. Um, full of random goodies that we have around our, our place. And you know, as junk journalers, we are excited about the littlest things. <laughs> I think it's so funny to watch thrift hauls and to watch um, uh, Happy Mail, things like that, because we literally get excited about, I mean, the silliest little things. So, um, here I am, I'm gonna get excited. Looks like it's a shoe box. I'm gonna assume she must package this well because she packages like I package. Quote unquote hermetically sealed so nothing can get in or out. And I appreciate that greatly. So and you know, as as I was I was just saying, we get so excited about the littlest things. I am trying to salvage this brown paper. It's hard to find brown paper sacks around here. Um, I can buy brown paper and all that, but brown paper sacks is a different, whole different story. So, from Value Village, we don't have a Value Village here, but I am familiar with it because so many of you ladies up in Canada talk about it. Um, one of these days, I'll go to a value village. It's on my bucket list. Um, so, I have no idea um, no idea what she got going on in here. Um, so, we'll just open it and see. We'll open it together and see together. Happy Scrubby. Oh, it's for my birthday. Oh, how sweet. Oh, I was totally not expecting that. Oh, dear Michelle, hope you have a wonderful birthday filled with the prettiest ribbons, paper, and sparkles. Mary Ellen and Gracie, the executive producer. Nice. Thank you so much. I just, I, when I texted you this evening, earlier this evening and said, Hey, I received a package, and I can tell you already, I love it before I even opened it. <laughs> but this is so sweet. Oh, one of these days, I'll, I'll make it to Canada. Um, until then, I live vicariously through, um, through my friend Mary Ellen up there, and also Cindy um, at Studio Lou. So, goodness, and I, you know, you never know what's tucked in and out so just make sure we're not going to miss anything going through these goodies uh-oh i see shaker cord stuff oh goodness this is a unboxing in all its forms okay i think this is more brown paper and you know i think it was cindy that did a I think they both did it, but I think Cindy did a video about crinkly paper with paint and all that. And I haven't done it, but I've seen, um, they just recently did a scrap swap and they were sh both, sh both shows videos and they both had exchanged that piece that they had played with. But this would make perfect for this. Again, it's, it's rare that I come by brown paper bag stuff okay oh look at all those stamps omg so she at her thrift haul one of her thrift hauls recently got a um i could should probably 
set this aside and let's look at these one at a time here. At her thrift, her thrift haul, one of her recent thrift hauls, let's do this. Give us a little background going on so you can see what we're looking at. She got a, or it might have been an auction that her and Cindy find these auctions up there and we don't have such either. So, anyways, um, she <laughs> there was like a whole bag of stamps and I am, I am a huge stamp nerd. Um, let's see here. I have my own little bucket of stamps that's right here by my desk and I... I feel like I use it often, but I don't use it often enough. So, that's pretty. Um, again, as I was saying initially, us junk journalers, we get excited about the silliest little things. These are so cool. I, of course, don't know any of these people. Canada. I know that. Oh, I um, I I don't know um some of these people, and I don't speak French, so we'll just have to admire their their um the artwork. Well, that's fun. We'll see any claws. Nice, 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 nice. And I, so I have my own stash of stamps, but I, I will tell you this, I don't have Canadian stamps. There may be one or two floating throughout there, but. So that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Thank you so much. And you know how we do these unboxing videos. We say thank you after everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> It's just, it's just in my nature, because I appreciate it so much. Again, we get excited about the littlest things, so. Okay, here we are with, oh goodness, at the Shaker Card Goodies. I don't know if you guys can see all these goodies in here. There's little stars, and these little tiny beads, and hearts, and so much fun. I got my own my own bottles. I just have a couple of these floating around. She had put a couple of them in my um, um, our last swap. She she shared a couple of them and that's cool. So these are from Dollarama and we don't have a Dollarama here. We have a Dollar Tree and a Family Dollar and a Dollar General and and yeah. So what is this? Uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm going to have to learn how to use this. It's going to be so backwards for what I'm used to. Oh, goodness. Thank you. I know you mentioned that a long time ago. You said you could you could use one of these. This would come in handy for you. And I see you use it, and I it, it baffles my brain. So we might, <laughs> we might have a, a practice video of me just trying to figure this out. And don't, I don't know why it's going to be so confusing to me. I guess being able to see what I'm cutting over is, is going to throw me off a little bit, but goodness, thank you so much. I wouldn't, you mentioned it a while back and I was like, Oh, I need to check on that. And then when I went to the store, it's like, I don't even know anything about these because I, I think they're in the fabric section and when you go in that section, it's like, to me, it's a little overwhelming. And so, thank you. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yay. I'm so excited. There's a, a airspace bubbly bubble. What have we got here? Chewy candies, six strips. Okay. Um, I am a fan of Chewy Candy. I am currently on a Nerds Kick, a gummy, they're called Nerds Clusters. I don't have a bag here because I ate them all this weekend, but they're little gummies with the candy nerds floating around them, and I'm so addicted to them. So, this will be fun to try. 
I my daughter will be over tomorrow night for dinner, so we may we may sneak a peek at it and see what see what these are all about. Very cool. Very cool. I like to try new things. Uh oh, here we got more stamps. Oh my goodness. Look at all these stamps. I'm not gonna go through every oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that beauty. Oh, I so here's the weird weirdness in me. I want to find the tiniest little frame and frame this beauty. I think I might do that. <laughs> oh goodness. I, I have a couple of playing cards framed and hanging on my wall, like in my bathroom and all that. But I think um I I don't have a stamp, but this one's just too pretty. Oh, I love it. So I'm gonna set it up here aside in a way, and it's gonna stare at me until I find the perfect little frame. How much fun is this? Oh goodness. Oh yeah. So she was going through all these, um, and I was I was kind of lost as to what these are. But I think the way she was explaining them is that. Um, people would write into the university for like a copy of somebody's paper, like if a professor had written a paper or something like that. And so these little cards basically, they're all in foreign language, but they basically say, hey, give me some of that. Yeah, see, so send me a reprint of your paper entitled blah, 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 which appeared in, I guess that book or that magazine or whatever. So that's kind of cool. This is something totally new to me. Um, and maybe it's, maybe it's strictly a Canada thing. Where are these dates? 1984. They're not too old. Sorry, I'm lost in a thought here. I'm just trying to see a date. I can't. I don't know, but that's cool. That's so cool. Look at all these Canadian William Jackman. All these Canadian. Nice. Maybe I need to do a Canadian journal <laughs> of all things Canada that I know nothing about. Just only from my friends up north. Goodness. My neighbors are being a little loud. Um, I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. Polska. Awesome. Thank you so much. These are so much fun. So much fun, so much fun. Let's see here. Let's see if I can tuck them here. Oh, there's more floating around in here. So you're giving me something to, to create a um, shaker card with. With a little acetate. Nice. I will definitely be playing with that. Uh-oh. Here's some elephant stuff. I can see it already. Oh, how neat. Thank you so much. I so I, I will tell you this. I won't frame this beautiful little stamp, but I have a crazy amount of elephant stuff collection in my in a cabinet in my living room, and I have a few um, elephant stamps that are tucked in there. So that will tuck in there. Thank you so much. Now I'm gonna be honest and say my ears are not pierced, but these lovely little elephants. Um, well, I'm working on an elephant journal for myself, and it's kind of playing around with the book, um, Elegant Elephant, and when I do that, I will have some little charms. I might use one for a journal and put one in my <laughs> elephant collection. Goodness, that's so crazy. We're going to set those aside up there, too. 
fun little envelope. This looks like it's like hand cut, maybe. I don't know. It's a fun little, it's a, it's a nice template. You can make some more out of um, scrap of paper. Awesome. Oh, she loaded me up on the stamps. And these cards are so cool. I'm going to have to figure out something to do with these. It would be cool to work them into a, like a journal as far as as part as the page. Ooh, look at that. Cool, cool. Ooh, Jamaica. Nice. Nice. Fun stuff for sure. Royal Mail first day cover. Now, I've heard about these. I assume, because I don't know that we do these these kinds of things here, we might, but I don't know. Um, I assume these are like first day cover, whatever exactly that means, but the, uh, like a new edition of stamps. These roses on the stamps have been chosen to illustrate the wide range of form and color. Nice. So it's kind of letting you know that this is a new July of 1991. Those are really pretty. Really pretty. That strip right there would make an awesome belly band. Anyways. I can't get too sidetracked. Oh! How much fun is this? Birds. Special day cover. These are 1989. I know one of these is a loon. He looks like a loon maybe. And then this guy looks like a puffin. At least that's what we call him here. The puffin. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it says it right here. I just can't read puffin. Um, I can't pronounce that. Avocet. Oyster catcher and... Where is the gannet? So maybe that's not a loon. So maybe I'll just learn something new today. Nice. Again, another cool addition to a journal or something fun to create with. Oh, now this is fabulous. I love this. And I have tried a thousand and one times to do little snippet rolls. And I just can't. And I think it's because I'm not a seamstress. I'm not a sewer person. I do I do enough to get by, but or maybe I just don't have the such coordinating pieces. Those are fabulous. That's fabulous. Oops, some more little stampies. She does um jelly print on these little stickers, which they're just basic white stickers. She jelly prints on them. And those are fun. I have the first stash she sent me, I have up there. And um, I've used several of them. So these will be used for sure. I'll add them to the stash up there. I'm, I'm getting getting all crowded up in here. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Because there is a more. Oh, how pretty. I don't know if you guys can see, this has like a hummingbird and a ladybug. Be your own kind of beautiful. Oh, that's so cool. I have a um, picture hanging in my bathroom that says that. Be your own kind of beautiful. How fun. How much fun. Ooh, I like that one. I already know where this is going. I have an order for a custom journal. And the lady wants monsters. And I said, do you want like dark, spooky, kind of realistic-ish type monsters? Or do you want like the cartoon character monsters? And she said, do a mix of both. And I have yet to figure out how I'm going to do that. But this speaks monster to me. So I am going to go ahead and set that in her box that I'm started collecting stuff. And then here's some more little cogs and leaves. Oh my gosh, these are so fun. So again, these are stickers, just they're plain white stickers and she's jelly jelly printed over them with paint and 
stamps and all that. It's fun, 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 fun. Okay, dokie. What else do we have here? Oh. And she knows these maple seeds get me every time. Every time I love them. Oh. Maybe I'll frame this as well. <laughs> I love them. So this is some more jelly printing that she's done. I, I play around with jelly print, but gosh, I'm not good at it at all. And I know it's because I don't play around with it enough to get good at it. Oh, love them. Love them, love them, love them. And so, these are leaf prints. These are the most perfect little leaves. I assume they're real leaves and not, God, that's gorgeous. And not like a stamp. Um, perfect, perfect little leaves. I don't know, you may or may not have seen one of my previous videos, but um, I've mentioned several times I did a storybook journal. Um, Miss Maple Seeds. It was a um, children's book, basically about leaves and seeds and all that good stuff. And I absolutely love that journal. It's sold. And um, I have said, if I ever see another one of those books, I will grab it. And I will make me another one of those journals and I won't sell it. <laughs> and so the other day at the thrift store, I found another one. And so I'm collecting my leafy stuff. These will go in it. I can bet you. Because they'll just they just match so well. So okay, carrying on. There's still more goodies in here. There is some ledger paper. This is so much fun. 1940. 1936. I love that she shares this stuff because it's so cool to see her thrift hauls and her auction finds and it's like, oh my god, I love that stuff. And she shares it and that's just so special to me. So special. Man, that handwriting is fabulous. So I greatly appreciate that she shares her goods. I don't find really cool stuff like this, so... <laughs> I have a handful of stuff like this, but I don't find it out in the wild. It's like I've, for whatever reason, collected it over the years. So cool. York Trading Limited. Nice. I want to do a journal that's all, you know, old vintage stuff. Oh, this is like a diary. Six Doctor dies at 82. Not that I can um, read any of this handwriting. Breakfast at... Meeting till 4 p.m. Rain early a.m. Followed by snow. Cold. Nice. Beautiful winter day. Beautiful mild day. Nice. And here is some more of her jelly printing. She did a bee journal just recently. You guys need to check her out. If you don't follow her, you should jump over there and follow her. She's, she does some pretty cool stuff. Um, she did a bee journal recently. And um, these are some of her jelly printing that she used throughout and she shared her scraps with me and again that sounds so not exciting for the normal everyday person but to me it's exciting to see somebody do something with with create with something and then send you their scraps it's so silly but I love it so okay these I, I, my mind is blown by these. She got these at a thrift haul. They are gold cards. Now, her and I share this love for playing cards. Um, I don't have any gold ones. And these are, these, these blow my mind. Literally blow my mind. And they're so much fun. 
awesome. I'm so glad she shared some of these with me. And I gotta figure out what to do with them. <laughs> That's the problem when you get all these goodies, new goodies. It's like, oh, it's like a fresh, fresh new batch of stuff to create with. Here is the, um, this is the little, um, I believe I sent her the um, prayer flag garland. I believe, I believe. So this is a little wrapping, which is kind of cool. I love, this is such a weird texture. And it would actually be kind of a cool little bitty pocket. Anywho. Um, danger, do not operate building trades. This tag only read. Okay. Construction little tag going on. Interesting. Very interesting. That'll be fun to play with. <laughs> that needs to go like in a Halloween journal to me. But, um, yeah. So... I am so super excited, and I just don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. I will say this. Um, her and I talked today, and so it seems that that her and um, Cindy at Studio Lou and a handful of other ladies, obviously, but... Um, we're kind of all gearing up for Defemerimber, Defemerimber, which is a month long, the month of December challenge. Um, it's a month long challenge to make ephemera. Um, and so um, the kind of the, the planning for it is to swap um, some scraps with a friend and um, one of the things that it's this challenge is put on by Luis Heinzel and uh, Barbara at 49 Dragonflies um, and you can just go to the top of YouTube and type in Defemerember and it'll pull up everybody's fun that they've been doing over the years uh, anyways um, I was browsing through some of the videos today trying to get an idea of what this challenge is and how I could do it. Um, I kind of want to know what I'm stepping into. Um, and one of the videos from last year, Barbara and Louisa, they, um, they did a journal exchange and they exchanged journals and then they worked in those journals for the month, the challenge. And now I know that... Um, Cindy and Mary Ellen have already done, um, some scrap swaps, um, but I wanted to do a journal for Mary Ellen to play in for Defemerember for the month of December. So, we talked a lot about that today, and, um, I will say this, <laughs> my Defemerember will involve shaker cards, somehow, some way. Because I have all these goodies to work with. So, even if, even, I could be as bold to say, maybe I'll make the whole challenge with shaker cards. Because, <laughs> again, it's something that I love and it's something that I struggle with. Um, so, who knows? Um, but, anyways, these goodies are fabulous and I can't wait to jump into them and see what all... I can create. I love this. I want to do something special with it. Can I frame this? <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, anyways, I will be framing the queen bee, though. I love her. So pretty. Such a pretty stamp. Anyways, um, thanks for joining me for this little surprise um, Happy Mail unboxing. This is the best. You can't laugh at me for trying to figure it out. Like I said, maybe I'll do a whole video of me trying to figure it out because it, for some reason, baffles my brain, and I don't know why. It shouldn't. I'm, I'm smart. I should be able to figure it out, but oh yeah, we'll see. Anyways, thanks for joining me with this lovely goodies. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mary Ellen, for these goodies. Um, I have a journal to make for you, so I'm going to jump off here and... Um, 
put these away and spend some more time with them again and um, go from there. So I'll be back tomorrow. I'm doing Artie Fartober challenge. So you guys will see that for sure tomorrow and um, we'll go from there. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye.